Hello and good afternoon. I'm Mohana Priya. Welcome to News on 2. The results of the by-election for the State Legislative Assembly seat of Samanye is a message for Pakatan Harapan to deeply study the issues voiced by the Rakyat. Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Wan Aziz Ahwan Ismail says, as such, one had to know what needed to be done in the by-election or general election. The Semenye by-election results saw Barisan National regaining the Semenye State Legislative Assembly seat after its candidate Zakaria Hanafi won the four-cornered contest by polling 19,780 votes to achieve a majority of 1,914 votes. Zakaria defeated the PH candidate Mohamed Ayman Zanaili who polled 17,866 votes. Nick Aziz Afik Abdul, 25, from Parti Socialist Malaysia, 847 votes and independent candidate who is also a social activist Quan Chi Heng 56 725 votes meanwhile PKR president Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim said the results of the Semenye by-election reflected the feelings of the people especially the sentiments showed by the Malay community he said that in the democratic process the government respected the decision made by the people and it was their right the percentage voter turnout was 73.24 down from the 87.9 percent in GE 14 the early voting last Tuesday saw a turnout of 78%. The Semenye by-election is the sixth by-election after the 14th general election held in May 2018. With palm oil prices facing pressure in international markets, the government is recommending that oil palm planters and smallholders consider other types of commercial crops with better market prospects. Primary Industries Minister Theresa Kok Su Sim said potential commodity crops with high demand include coconuts, pineapples and bamboo. Theresa well. said the fall in palm oil prices last year had affected many smallholders and only a few large planters were able to profit from the sale of the commodity. It's really high time for us to just stop the extension of oil palm plantation, look at other crops. For example, like, uh, you know, uh, in Pahang, certain areas are bamboo. The bamboo grow very nicely and uh, lots of uh, bamboos. Bamboos can turn into a lot of uh, uh, materials uh, and uh, there is a, like Japanese, is a, is a great market for bamboo products. She said a few companies have already started to move away from oil palm to coconuts, adding that the planting of coconuts can be profitable as every year Malaysia imports a lot of coconuts to meet demand. She also recommended other crops such as pineapples and bamboo, which are planted in Porcelanjang, Cameron Highlands, and can be used to make various goods. The minister said this at the launching ceremony of the Valley at Bentong Development Project yesterday. As part of answering the challenge to turn Malaysia into a sports tourism hub, the 2019 edition of the world's largest duathlon competition, the Powerman Asia Championships Malaysia, officially got underway yesterday. Now, the start witnessed the event's young participants in the Power Kids category take on the Run Bike Run Challenge along the 0.48 kilometer long run route and 1.17 kilometer long cycling route along Dataran Putrajaya. According to Andrew Ching, Chief Executive Officer for E Plus Global, the competition's organizers, apart from promoting Malaysia to the world, the event is also a way to encourage Malaysians to practice healthy living. Sports tourism, sebagai Malaysia satu uh, destinasi sport tourism, galakkan lagi acara-acara yang sukan sehat uh, untuk orang ramai di Malaysia, terutama di para-para uh, kanak-kanak lah. Featuring entrants from the ages of 5 to 12 years old, the non-competitive and fun introductory level 2019 Power Kids edition also saw the participation of its first ever cerebral palsy quadriplegia participant in the category. I think this race was a success. It was great. It was fun. I think they should continue doing this. It's fun and I like racing. Out of 3,500 participants in this year's edition of Powerman Asia Championship Malaysia, 250 of them are children, while 30% are international participants. And that concludes this afternoon's edition of News on 2. In our top story today, Pakistan releases Indian pilot in peace gesture. But crisis may not be over yet. News on 2 will come on again at 7pm with more updates. Till then, I'm Mohana Priya. Thanks for watching.